Welcome to my channel. So, why the pressure inside this gauge looks like this? That is because we want to measure the maximum pressure. But if we not, we don't have a non-return valve here. The pressure may keep changing, may keep changing from maximum to the exhaust pressure. So we c we have no time to read the pressure, and the pressure maximum pressure may be not um, may be not correct. So this here. We put in a non-return valve, non-return valve, and uh, in series is a needle valve, needle valve, and a pressure gauge, pressure gauge. This is a indicate cork, which the high pressure gas goes in, goes in here. So when the pressure, when the Combustion pressure is higher than higher than the pressure here. The non-return valve opens and the gas goes through here into this gauge chamber. And when when the engine works to the um, to a pressure uh, when the engine is in its Expand the stroke, the pressure drops, drops, and when the pressure cylinder pressure is less than pressure here, the non-return valve close. So, when will the non-return valve open next time? That's the next time the fuel igni ignites. So after several revolutions, the gauge cylinder pressure will reach almost the P maximum. It, uh, this is how it works. And you may be asked why here is a needle valve. That's very simple because after measuring the pressure, we want to release the pressure here inside these uh, these blocks. We need to release the pressure here, so we use a needle valve here to release the pressure into the outside atmosphere. So here is a simple principle of the pressure gauge. And uh, I want to tell you more about it. Mm, these gauges usually uh, use, uh, usually is equipped with uh, some Japanese engines, such as the Akasaka Akasaka. Uh, that's uh, this one. Akasaka U E C thirty three L S second on this engine, or the Chinese made Chinese made engines like this. Three hundred and twenty series. This Chinese made engine, or G three hundred engine. So, um, my spoken English is not very good. Uh, excuse me about that. So this gauge. Oh, I know what I want to see. Uh, the gauge we talked is just about.
measuring the ignition pressure. So we will talk about the compression pressure next. Compression pressure is a very useful index indexed in engine operate operation. So how do you measure measure the compression pressure? It's very simple. The only difference of measuring with measuring compression pressure and the maximum pressure or this one the ignition pressure is to stop the fuel injection in the cylinder you want to measure. So the compression pressure diagram is like this. It uh, when we stop the fuel injection we don't have here the ex uh is a we don't have the this this distance we we have a diagram like this the compression and expand expansion expand or expansion I don't know how to say that in English uh, perfect diagram is like this so the compression pressure is here the top here top the principle is the same but why we measure this pressure because in a two stroke due two stroke diesel engine we have a scavenge pressure you know we have a scavenge pressure we can read it from the air manifold scavenge manifold and uh, if we if we divide if we divide the compression pressure and the, the scavenge pressure we should have a number a certain number and this number will be given in the instruction book from the manufacturer and when this number this number becomes lower we we know that we may have a leak valve leak exhaust or leak, leaking exhaust valve yes or a poor piston ring